Yeah, I, I have. Last year, the same thing happened, my peppers. Something completely demolished the plant. Not just the leaves and not just the peppers, but everything. The leaves, the peppers. All that left was the trunk. Whatever, if that's what you call it, the trunk of the branches. It removed every single leaf. It removed every single pepper. And the only part that it left was the part that holds the dang plant up. What is eating my peppers this time? Because I went outside to find one of the peppers on the Creole cello plant missing. Yeah, there was two. And this one out there and it was missing. I'm sick and tired of it happening. I grow peppers. I water my plants. I work my butt off in my garden. Working as hard as I can to keep it going. And this is what I get. My peppers... Getting destroyed? I know how. Yeah. And it's only happening with one plant, just like it did the last time. But it's not eating the whole plant as of right now. It's just took it took a pepper off of my plant. So if you anyone on here has any ideas of what it could be, please, please tell me. This is urgent. I know some of you people out here on my channel uh, are disrespectful and yeah, um, you can see it. Um, uh, well. There's not really much to see. There's not really much to see right now, other than I'll show you where the pepper was. All right, but uh, I also have a habanero pepper in my hand for your enjoyment. So uh, I'm gonna try to talk myself through what's going on while my mouth is in pain. It's like a second, second fire tornado in your mouth. So, oh Jesus, this is stupid. Just listen for my hiccups. Oh, is it raining? It is. I don't care. Okay. So, um, oh, do you have any idea what I can do to prevent it? I don't really think I have anything to complain about. You know? Oh, then. Pain up in my mouth right now. Oh my gosh, that is really warming me up. But yeah, it could be a rabbit or a squirrel. I had some I um, some people here on. The net. Yeah, there. My friend got on the stream and told me that it could be that. Yeah, guys, the ramps are completely over, so don't. You don't have to be with that anymore. Yeah. This habanero was surprisingly mild, but well, this that, that half of it. Let's see if this half is the same. Let's get everything out of it. Don't want to touch it because it's gonna it's gonna burn my skin. Obviously, it's a pepper. Duh. Come on, come on. I'm not putting my hands in here without something protecting my hands. Okay, I guess, um, yeah. What could it be? A bird, a worm? Some kind of bug? Yeah. Give this a like for my bravery with peppers. Seed. Seeds completely inside of it. Just fill the seeds, guys. I'm uh, I think I want to get out of this, though. You guys, uh, seed does not make a pepper hot. What makes. Oh, jeez. What makes a pepper hot? As you can see, my reaction to it is capsaicin oil. And the reason that. You guys may think the seeds make a pepper hot. It is because the seeds are attached to the placental tissue, which holds the capsaicin. And since it's attached to the veins and the 
in the memory in the membrane. The membrane. Since it's t attached to the membrane and the veins, the seeds get capsaicin on them, which then causes you to think that is the hot part. But you guys should take try try taking the seeds out of the pepper if you don't believe me, and eat it for yourself. Because I've been in Chili Head for five to six years now, and I know what I am talking about. My mouth is... Oh, jeez. Holy crap, guys. I can't believe I'm talking through it right now in this much pain. The seeds do not make a pepper hot. That's final. That is final. Maybe... Well, that, that half wasn't too bad. It's still pretty... I'm not saying it's not hot. It's, oh, jeez. This half may be hotter. So... Here... Let's give the second half a chance to demolish me and just instantly destroy me. Um, these are grocery store habaneros. Uh, I have fresh habaneros in my garden. And if you guys have a pepper suggestion for me that I haven't tried yet and have or put in my garden, please, please, please tell me what kind you think I should put in my garden. Because I put all the rarest varieties that you can think of. Bacatums, lemon drop, curl of um, ahi cito, ahi colorado, bishop's crown, Brazilian starfish. I have two new ones, the ahi golden and the Peru yellow, and a chinense, which people really, really can confuse the lemon drop with, is, oh, the lemon. The, the lemon. The I was at a farmer's market, and uh, there is, there is, this woman uh, had super, super tiny of these Ziploc bags, these little yellow skinny peppers in them, and man, they were great. They were amazing. This was back in 2012. And, um, man, they were so much smaller than the lemon drops I have in my garden. My lemon drops get about, look at this, can get about this long. Get about this long. Or, for example, about this, this long, this, like, that length right there. Lemon is probably like that, that small. Tiny, tiny, but pack a load of flavor. I mean, oh man, it packs. Very, very, very decent amount of heat. So you've been warned for that. But uh, it's not as hot as a habanero still, but it's in the Chinese family, which the habanero was in. So let's give the second half a chance. Well, again, like this for bravery, because. I really just want to know if this is hotter than the first half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is like... Wow. Like I described the last time, the habanero has like an orange kind of apple. It's like an apple and an orange all in one fruit. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It was just a habanero. <laughs> What the heck? That's not that hot at all. Oh wait, I've been mistaken. It's a slow build up. It's a slow build up. And I did, I, I took a pretty decent sense of So guys, um, if I just take a habanero like this and bite right into it, Which I might. I'm going to. Oh wow. Okay. Some more food in my stomach.
All right. No. This is a placenta. And everything. So, uh, probably about to be the dumbest person on earth, though. Just bite right into it. Like it, like it is. Ted Bear style as well. He just bites right into everything. You almost never, you almost never see Ted Bears cut open a pepper. Um, pretty much never, anyway. But, uh, also, um, Glozell late one of these, thinking it was a cherry. Hmm. <gasps> I don't know what kind of cherry this is, but it's, kind of, it's but isn't it cute? <gasps> I'm starting to think this is made of pepper, and it's not like she was farting in her throat. <coughs> Can't make a sound that she did. I don't. I never thought a human being can make that sound, but Glozo, how on earth did you believe that a pepper looked like a cherry or? You just seriously think that a cherry is orange. Does this look anything like a cherry to you all? No. And she just, I don't know what kind of cherry this is, but isn't it cute? I swear, it sounded like there was a pig in her throat. It was hilarious. Or a. No, it sounds like she's farting through her throat. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling some heat. Oh no. <sighs> All right, so I'm not. But what I really, really want to do is um, just um, see if I can get the hiccups again as well. I'm gonna let my uh, this, uh, this isn't me stupid, is it? You know, if I just bite right into a ghost pepper, can I do this or what? Duh, yes. So, 10, 9, 8. And then I'm backing down. 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot hotter if the stuff in it. Much hotter. Much stupider. Much more stupid. Just bite it into it like that. Now, unless you guys are chili heads, I don't want you to attempt this at home. Well, you can actually. It's not that dangerous. It's just the reason they say don't try this at home for peppers is. They don't want you to be in serious pain, unless they just don't want you to, um, or is it just because this pepper is getting a little bit older? See how wrinkly it is? That's not hot. That's not hot. That's really not hot. Is Lauren watching this right now? Is Lauren watching this right now? Lauren, I don't think she has a YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm biting right into it again. Only to probably find out that the further I get into it. Oh, you're Chris? <coughs> oh, crap. Are you Chris? That wasn't very helpful either. <laughs> Who is this, then? Oh, crap. Oh, well, this is them. I can't believe I'm just biting into it like an idiot. You have found Bixo. <laughs> <laughs> you have found Bixo. Biox. Okay. Oh, hey, Biox. I'm Bixo. Biox. Okay, it's getting hot. Hotter than dissecting it. Yeah, I gotta fucking laugh for even talk right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I think I made a mistake. Oh gosh, dang it. 
Oh my gosh. I'm ready to hiccup. Get all that oil. <laughs> oh yeah. Get that oil down my throat. Yeah, look how red my face is getting. But um, oh my gosh, guys, this is ridiculously hot. This is this is a, uh, oh wow. Yeah, it's just you can see all the veins in it. Seeds do not make it hot. Do seeds do not make a pepper hot? They're attached to the vein and the placenta. No, the um, the um the seeds don't make it hot. I'm sorry to tell you that. What? Cut open a pepper, take the seeds out, try it out for yourself. Or buy a pepper package. Buy a package of pepper seeds and see if those are hot. See the vein? No. So, so, see the veins? The, um, see the vein in there? The, let me so you can see it better. See the vein down there that runs down the pepper? That holds what is known as capsaicin oil in it. And um, what's also in there is the seeds attached to it. So the capsaicin gets onto the seeds. Capsaicin gets onto the seeds. And that is what makes a hot pepper hot. I'm sick and tired of people mistaking the seeds for the hot part. It really gets on my nerves. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but you guys are looking in the face of a chili head for of five to six years. So, baby, I know what I'm talking about. And um, the more I eat right now, so I'm not even going to notice how hot it is because my mouth is already on fire as it is. So, uh, might as well do it, right? Get the seeds out. I don't like crunching the seeds. I don't like crunching the seeds. It's just, the texture is disgusting. Okay. Now let's get the seeds out. <coughs> I got a decent amount of seeds out. Need a little lighting in here, guys. It's uh, storming out again, of course. So it's a little irritating. I'm just afraid I might not even be able to taste it because my nose is so stuffed up from it. Oh, what the? Good, it's all. Falling off. There's a hole in it. What the heck? It's a little bit hotter now. Okay, I'm gonna hiccup now, I think. I'm just waiting for it to happen. I really am. You know? Every swallow was like that right now. Oh, I feel it. I can feel that it's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna happen. It's gonna start up, I think. Oh, it's gonna happen. Hiccups are gonna happen, I hope. Yeah. Here we go, guys. I've got the hiccups. You can tell when it's gonna happen, because I'm. Um, Get this little, it's hard to explain what, it's hard to explain what the way it feels, what happens. 
for the, the heat. I'm gonna buy that chili pepper. And it's, it's like a bomb exploding in your mouth. This is amazing. But uh, I could talk talk you through it. There's not how many times I've done it. Heat just instantly, you know, codes your, it instantly coats your whole mouth. And instantly it's just it right <coughs> it instantly is attacking your whole tongue. I'm starting to fill up the stomach and I feel like it might be a capsaicin crap. And uh, it shouldn't be though, because uh, I just ate a whole plate full of lunch. The hiccups should not last too much longer, but um, yeah, it's hot. I gotta go.